Hey guys, this is Issues with Taddy One Skip. I am Taddy One Skip. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much. Thank you so much for allowing me to be part of your day, for bombarding me with anxious ant video, which if you guys don't know the channel, they are, they are hysterical. They remind me of like the classics like uh, Kath and Kim, if you guys have ever seen that New Zealand or Australian sitcom. It's really fantastic that um, anyway these two women are just they they're on about gypsy rose but also they are just spot on with each other and they deserve like their own show hey guys i'm absolutely shocked right now i don't know why i'm shocked marzi isn't as shocked but i i am shocked right now tell well, them look, look, we just read an article in people magazine and they interviewed christy blanchett about gypsy and ken getting together and her thoughts i wanted them back together i made that happen put the heat on me what what look i think she's just saying it to get the heat off of gypsy because everyone's coming at her and i feel like she's just saying it because she won't get as much backlash from it see to me i always thought maybe i'm incorrect but i always thought that christy was like a a religious person like really believed in god and you know the sanctuary so um, it's anxious and so what they're talking about, just so you know, is how Christy Blanchard is taking responsibility for the basically the breakup of Gypsy's and Ryan's marriage because she maintains that she and Ryan, uh, she and Ken have always continued a friendship and that she feels like Ken is the one that is the one that Gypsy's supposed to be with her, more or less her soulmate, and the one that got away. And why did he have to get away when Christy can help bring him back? Well, the problem with it is that it was at the expense of somebody else. Why did you have to let it get that far? I, but supposedly, I guess Christy never was for the marriage of Ryan, right? I mean, she kind of made that clear in the last show. And by the way, we are less than, what, 24 hours to the new show of um, how we're not supposed to have an interest in Gypsy Rose Blanchard. She is no celebrity, but her show is on tomorrow night, guys. So, And we will talk about that, I mean... Guys, you know, the reason why I follow Gypsy Rose and speak on her is, listen, there was a tragedy. There was a tragedy in the loss of her mom, Dee Dee. Tragedy in that. There is, it's a tragedy that Nick is, didn't get a fair trial. And I want to read you something that somebody sent to me on a more of a serious basis. It's not nice to have um, laugh and make fun of people at the expense of them, unless you're somebody like Gypsy Rose. Now, I get to say that, I think I get to say that, because if I did it any other way, if I kept my mouth quiet, you know, if I kept stump, and if I um, didn't have a response to it, it's an insult to my intelligence, because uh, it would be letting people think that I buy into her bullshit and I don't buy into her bullshit. I can understand that if truly Christy had Gypsy's best intention at heart, excuse me, then she still would have said, listen, I understand how you feel about this guy. I get it because, you know, in a way, that's kind of like the same thing that happened between me and your dad and da 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 But there's a right way and a wrong way. And please go home, tell Ryan that's that, and, and, and just let him go. Now, maybe that's what Gypsy did. Maybe that's the scene that says, I'm going to be wanting a divorce, that I'm going to be wanting. It's so matter of fact. I'm going to want a divorce. That it's almost clinical, and that's the part that bothers me. I'm going to want a divorce. Not, hey, listen, I made this horrible mistake. I'm going to want a divorce. But the thing that says, yeah, I'm going to be wanting a divorce. I'm going to want a divorce. Like, it's just, it was so clinical. I'm going to want a divorce. The way that it's portrayed. So, still, this was all done in his face in a matter of, like, a week. 
Like, she's running into Ken's arms in a matter of a week after breaking Ryan's heart. And I do believe that that's real. And I do believe that that timeline is real. You know, just, you do better. You want people to do better. I can understand, you know, that you make stupid mistakes in life. I get it. I really do. But there's a way to handle the stupid mistakes. I'm not saying she always had to stay married to Ryan, but she could have done that with a little bit more class and without like throwing Ryan like under the bus, into the spotlight, making him feel abused and used in front of everybody. Ryan, whatever you're responsible for in this, and you know, you saw red flags. So next time, just pay attention to the red flags. I am not at all saying that Ryan deserved this. He did not deserve this, but he did see red flags in all fairness. Next time, just pay attention to him. That's all I'm saying, right? They're teachable moments if we want to be taught. Then, remember I said I wanted to read you something? So I want to read you something. Somebody sent me this. So this is from a newspaper or a tabloid. This was sent to me by a subscriber. Thank you guys. I always appreciate that because I can't always get to everything. And I'm gonna put it up here. But I just wanna read it to you if you don't mind. Real quick, horror behind closed doors to their neighbors. Okay, so this is from a UK tabloid or it's not from the US because the spelling is um, English, proper English. Her behind closed doors to the neighbors, Dee Dee and her daughter Gypsy, much loved as close as could be, but all that would be shattered. This is just an article about how Dee Dee was just so happy to help everybody and how close she was with how they would have these uh, parties that the neighbors would come and, and have these parties and these movie nights that would be projected out on the porch. And Dee Dee would make sure that people came home, went home with, um, you know, bags of food. And that it seemed like, you know, Dee Dee knew about Nick. The other thing people always remarked on was the close relationship Dee Dee had with her daughter when she looked after, who she looked after full time. She always made sure Gypsy, 19, looked immaculate and had been even more proud in recent months since she had been dating 26-year-old Nick Godijohn. They're so in love, she'd tell her friends. Where is this article? I mean, uh, hmm. It's lovely to see, she said. Over the next week, Kevin saw Dee Dee and Gypsy go out just as much as usual. But then on the Sunday... He saw their friend Kim frantically knocking at Dee Dee's door. Everything okay, he called. I'm not sure, she frowned. I saw a weird post online. And they're talking about how the post talked about how Gypsy, you know, the, that post that was on the Facebook post about what slashing that and all that stuff, right? Here's what's interesting, though. This is when the police go and take over. And the police say, you can go, we'll take it from here. County Sheriff Jim Arnett told them if there's any news, we'll get in touch. But what he found inside shocked no, not only him, but the rest of the sleepy community. After forcing the door open and searching downstairs, the sheriff had then climbed the stairs. Remember, the house was a mess. I showed you pictures of that. The house was a mess. After forcing the door and searching downstairs, the sheriff had, the sheriff had then climbed the stairs and pushed open Dee Dee's bedroom door and discovered her body face down on the bed in a pool of blood. She'd been reportedly ep, 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 and Gypsy was nowhere to be seen. When news got out, the neighbors were stunned. I can't believe this, Kevin. Because this is the bit that I really want us to focus on. Hang on, don't go anywhere. This is the bit. I just hope Gypsy is okay, they say. So this is after, you know, they, they went through the... They found the Facebook thing, and now they're talking. The neighbors are talking among themselves. This is the article. I just hope Gypsy is okay. But just as they were trying to come to terms with that, 
with all that happened to Dee Dee, there came another bombshell. Gypsy, the beloved daughter who she cared for, was arrested for her M-U-R-D-E-R. -E Police had tracked her down to boyfriend Nicholas go to John's place, his home in Wisconsin, nearly 600 miles away where they believed she'd posted the Facebook message from. When questioned by detectives, Gypsy said she'd put the message out there so that her mom's body would be found quickly. She told police she heard her mom screaming as her boyfriend, uh -uh, her, before trying to clean up the from her hands and using baby wipes and fleeing in a taxi. Nicholas's version was that his girlfriend had asked him to, his mom, and that she'd held Dee Dee down as he, <coughs> her. You guys, you know psycho, right? That's that, <coughs> the sound of, because I can't say it here. So let me repeat that. Nicholas's version was that his girlfriend had asked him, his girlfriend's who? Gypsy Rose. Nicholas's version was that his girlfriend had asked him, to do that to his mom and that he'd she'd she held Dee Dee down as he psychoed her. That's what it says here. Then the couple had stolen thousands of dollars from a safe in the deceased woman's bedroom before fleeing back to his home. Kevin was stunned as an officer explained to him what had happened. She was the nicest lady in the world, he said quietly. Why? But then came the final twist. Police soon discovered Gypsy wasn't as ill as she made out. <laughs> and that she used the wheelchair despite being able to walk, run, dance and everything. I added the walk, uh, the dance and everything. The walk was in there. She and Dee Dee had been in on the plan together to defraud people for money. This... Let me repeat that. She and Dee Dee had been in on the plan together to defraud people for money. Friends and neighbors were astounded. I can't believe how anybody would even have a bad word to say about her. So guys, this was written closer to the date. There are things that are either inaccurate or just weren't brought to light. And there's a lot of things. So, you know, the amount of B-L-O-O-D that was found on, you know, Nicholas was supposedly in the same outfit as the time he did that to Dee Dee. Like, they, he was still in those clothes. There wasn't the amount of B-L-O-O-D that you would think the real crime scene like pictures where there where's all of it where is all of the there's there's not enough on the clothes it doesn't make sense i don't understand the more that this unravels the more it it really looks like maybe nicholas was just set up and gypsy wasn't even supposed to go to live with him maybe she was supposed to be with Dan and that fell through because maybe Dan didn't think that she would honestly do that. And if she did do that, well, he probably didn't feel very safe after that. I don't know. But here's the thing. The behavior that Christy has in having the collateral damage of a man's, you know, heart, it, it, I'm not saying metaphorically. Listen, when you damage people enough and you change the way that they view life, you really have taken from them. You've stolen a part of their soul, a part of their essence, something that takes away the way that they view the world and the way that they view people. And that is something that isn't criminal, but it's sacred. And it's moral and it's humane. And when we treat people like they don't matter or they're a stepping stone or, you know, again, listen, 
I'm not saying, I, I do remember in all fairness, Christy say, you know, not being happy about the marriage and, and Rod liking, not the marriage, but liking Ryan over Ken. I still think there was a better way to do that. And just discarding people isn't the way to do it. I think that what happened with Didi is much more escalated and much more exaggerated but it still starts with the narcissism. I mean, there, it's it's still a seed in a big fucking sandbox. You know what I'm saying? And each one of these pieces of sand d does create the sandbox. So you have to pay attention to each grain. And okaying the fact that, that Gypsy made a mistake and married the wrong person and then you know, within a week saying it's okay and, you know, you're going to take the heat for that, you know, how would that make you feel if that happened to Mia or Maya? Is it Mia or Maya? You know, like, how how does that make you feel? Why is that okay? You just, there's a way to treat people. But I'm not too sure that this family knows about that. You know, I just... Guys, this is Issues with Toddy One Skip. Tell me what you think about the article that I read. The more serious bit of the article. Or even the gossipy stuff. I don't care. Guys, please like, subscribe, and share. I really appreciate you. Don't forget, be better today than you were yesterday. Not half as good as you'll be tomorrow. Never, ever, ever be Gypsy Rose Blanchard or anybody in the Blanchard family. Thanks, guys.